What's going on, creators? Yeah, I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to uh, now. <laughs> for she uh, appreciates you being here and vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I got a couple of things to bring to your awareness. Hopefully, it's a benefit to your mental diet. Um, one of which has to do with the world and you know how you can start to kind of unplug from a lot of these narratives, the propaganda, the the drama, the wizardry, <laughs> uh, and start to really focus on um, what is in your wheelhouse to steward, uh, which is a lot of stuff you know it's a lot of stuff that you have um, direct control over um, heavy influence your family your body your what you're doing uh, for a living you know all these types of things uh, you know taking care of your own um, household um, and, and really letting the world be the reflection that it is not to say that it's you know ideal or you know it couldn't get better but part of acceptance and part of accepting you know moving forward you know is not having this idea that you are separate from the world um that uh, on some level it's a reflection of consciousness you know and whether that's a collective consciousness of a group or 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 what it at the highest level you are still kind of connected with it you know and you can use what's going on to kind of kind of um, define more and more so who you're going to be in relationship to it. You know, and what I mean by that is like you have um, really a lot of what's going on in culture is grasping at identities that aren't actually who you are. You know, so like uh, skin color, nationality, your economic class, your whatever. You know, a lot of these are things that you'll see in the world, your sexual orientation, your all of this shit, you know, and it's like, I'm going to make my, my identity around skin color, for example, you know, so, you know, that's who I am. That's who I believe I am is my skin color, you know, because I believe I'm a separate ego brain in a body and that that matters, <laughs> you know, and because, you know, you're, you're putting an identity around that. Well, then all of a sudden the they starts to emerge and what the they represents is something that's different than, um, and then, uh, so if you're identifying your, your sense of identity with your color of skin, well, someone with the, the contrasting opposite color is now a they, you know, now it's, now you're different than, so therefore in, in the, um, kind of the old mindset, then it's like, they're the other, you know, this, they're, it's like, you've seen that throughout the pandemic with the, uh, the mass versus the unmass, the, the jab versus the unjab, you know, it's, it's, it's the same binary shit that continues to happen when people that aren't um, aware of their identity in Christ try to make identities with the illusion of the external world. And, you know, looking for all of this outer, um, outer shit that is just merely a reflection of a state of consciousness. Um, you know, and, and everybody's at different states of consciousness. And, and, and ultimately what is being reflected in that state is ultimately your relationship with God and um, who you believe yourself to be in relationship with God because they're not separate. You know, that, that's part of like the illusion of the old mind is having um, having that kind of separateness going on. That's some, some external thing. You know, I, I believe that's kind of what a biblical Jew is actually, you know, is like someone who has, um, you know, faith in an external God, not to say that God isn't, you know, in the seen and unseen, but you know, if you're, if you're not making the connection of the kingdom of God being within you, well, then you can start to spin out big time because what happens then is if you uh, are focused on separation and building your identity around that separateness, well, now all of a sudden there's all these forces, there's all this chaos, and not only that, but then then fear starts to develop. And as you start to identify more and more so with fear unconsciously, then that has a tendency to start drawing these fearful manifestations into your experience and start to slowly turn your life into a hell. And, and um, realizing that, though, it's easy enough to then... Um, breathe, take a breath, get back to being present and choose instead of listening to the mind of separation and fear to start listening to the Holy Spirit, which is within you and start to move in a path of love, you know, perfect love. Um, according to the Bible, you know, God is love according to the Bible and perfect love casts out all fear. And so if you're feeling fear, um, it's an opportunity to experience perfect love and have that cast out. And so part of like revising how we're experiencing what's going on in the world, what we're doing with our 
you know, day to day, you know, walking a spiritual life is not so much living in um, la la land, which sometimes it kind of feels like that, you know, when it's like when you really understand that you can be, do or have anything and that the promises of God are true. And, you know, what you ask for in prayer, you know, believe that you've received it and it's yours. All of those things are real things that you can start to experience right now, you know, because really um, this this kind of uh, 3D world, I guess, whatever, the relative world, whatever you want to call this uh, creation is a perfect mirror. Um, and it's always showing you what you're being. It doesn't show you what you're wanting and desiring. It's showing you who you believe yourself to be. You know, on you know, I mean, it's just it's just that way. You know, it's like, um, you know, and and so when when you start seeing kind of this chaos, you know, emerging through screens, um, rumors of war, um, you know, all of this kind of stuff, you know, one of the best things that you can do is just to be peace, you know, in in relationship to that. You know, it's like it's giving you an opportunity to redefine who you are in the face of this this new unknown situation. You know, are you going to be fear over here or are you going to choose to be love over here? You know, it's it's always giving you an opportunity to experience for one who you are, but then also to choose who you desire to be. The problem with most people is in the old mindset, um, the choice is being made unconsciously. They're just constantly reacting, reacting, reacting to this to this illusion and, and drifting farther and farther away into it, believing it's real, creating more dysfunction, chaos, destruction, ultimately um, self-destructing, really. Um, but it's always a choice whether or not you're going to continue to experience that or not. You know? And so when it comes to the narratives that come from the world, from, from oh, well, this side over here is doing this, and, and this side over here is doing that, and, you know, oh, now, now, oh, they're killing children. Let's get triggered. You know, and, and so much of this is just repeating scripts and things to traumatize others and to get people really amped up and angry at, at the the they um which then gets their mind in vengeance and um attacking which then uh unconsciously they don't realize that that part of the spiritual psychological um shit going on you know, is if you're holding that shit inside of you and you want to attack and kill other people, well, there is no other people. You're doing it to yourself. You're seeing a reflection in the mirror. And so whatever you're heaping on someone else, it's just directly coming back on you. And you will then experience that, which you have imagined unconsciously, you know, by not understanding um, who you are and how nothing is separate. Everything in creation is one thing. It's all connected. And that's part of the illusion of what's going on. And as more and more people wake up to that uh, understanding, the world will naturally start to reflect that change as you be the change. You know, it's like no one's doing it for you. How you're experiencing what's happening in the world is a direct reflection of your thoughts, your beliefs, and your assumptions, consciously and unconsciously. It, you're seeing a mirrored uh, um, state of yourself, which you can start to change in the right here and right now. And, you know, and that can happen on the, the, the major scale, but also just in, in just normal everyday things going on in your life. You know, it's dysfunction that's going on maybe in a marriage, you know, as a as a as a married guy, you know, it's like uh, one of the biggest like understandings that maybe I could share for other men that um, I just don't understand women and don't understand their wife and why there's so much drama and, and fucking dysfunction. So the shit you're doing to, with God, your relationship with God is getting mirrored through your wife. You know, it's like um, if you are having dysfunction in your marriage, take ownership. If you're, if you're for example, is your, is your wife nagging constantly? Then look at yourself. Are you nagging God constantly, just begging for for scraps of whatever instead of embodying who you actually are? You know, who you are in Christ, who you are as a child of God. 
you know, are, are you embodying, um, you know, Jesus loving the church to your wife? Is that, you know, and, and a lot of times when you realize the problem is not your wife, the problem is you and how you are thinking for one and how you are relating with your creator for two. Well, once you realize that, then all of a sudden you make the inner change, you change how you're relating to your creator and your wife will start to then reflect that in your marriage. And you t put that to your test for yourself. I encourage you to test it. Hopefully save your marriage, um, you know, and, and get you out of these states of dysfunction when it comes to relationship with, with others, you know, because really as part of the biblical mystery of marriage is how can you have oneness yet relation, you know, because a relation implies two, you know, and so it's like, how can there be oneness yet relationship and understanding how things can can kind of be possibly both, you know, it, it's uh, something to think about, something to expand awareness on and ask God yourself um, what that means. But, you know, one of the things when the undesirable happens is the old mindset tends to want to blame anything but itself, you know, for causing the problem, you know, and so you know, so say something happens where it's a positive, you know, it's like some mindset or assumption maybe is learned through childhood. Maybe your parents were strong with that. Maybe they weren't. And that's, you know, you carry on those limiting beliefs and you just think that's real and that's normal. It's normal to just have one ordeal after the next, you know, some drama, you know, that's just chaos all the time. And that's just normal because you grew up in an environment that was chaotic and, and traumatizing and stressful and when whatever, um, who knows, you know, it's, it's like you have to um, you have to look at all of these limiting beliefs and do it, you know, in in yourself as they emerge. You know, it's like when, when like the undesirable you know, happens in the world, that's one thing when it happens in your household. That's another thing. You know, and if you're never taking responsibility or ownership, it's like, oh, you, you, it's like I never exercise a day in 20 years. Uh, I don't watch what I eat. I don't do this. I smoke. I drink. I do all these different things. I just, and it's like, are you then surprised that that lifestyle led to a state of con uh, of consciousness then that reflects that? You know, it's like we have a lot of um, ability to to steward our lives, you know, and, and one of the easiest ways to kind of comprehend that is with like a garden example where you have weeds and then you have the desirable plants and it's like both exist in consciousness, you know, in your consciousness, they both exist. You can start to see in the here and now, what is preventing you from fully being happy right now, from feeling thankful, from feeling um, abundant and joyful and feeling the fruits of the spirit. Well, that's the next logical step. That's the hang up. That's the, that's the resistance for one. It's like no fucking way. There's no way you, you can feel good in the present moment. You always got to battle and resist something and suffer and be tormented and feel like you're in hell all the time. You know, even though God is a, a real is real, you know, it's like, and, and you're connected it is within you. Um, and not outside in space somewhere, you know, but like, um, you know, it's, it's part of letting go of that old mindset, crucifying that identity with Christ and being born again in this new creation that you are, which is happening now. You're new now, now. Everything from the, the quote unquote past, this linear past is an illusion. It's not, it's not who you are anymore. And so it's like when the undesirable things unconsciously manifest and if you take ownership for that and go oh well um if that happened because of a, uh, an unconscious thought that's based in error then it's just as easily as i i don't have to worry about that shit anymore i can choose to trust god i can trust infinite intelligence to in, intelligence to to help this situation, to solve this problem, to help guide me through the, the right thing, to show me what are the weeds and what is not and how to take care of this garden in the, in the best way possible to, to get a fucking amazing whatever, you know, at the end of the season or during the season, you know, it's like, 
you know, take ownership of these things, you know, stop blaming other people for your problems, you know, to, and, and that part of that is like you believe that other people contribute to your problems. And so they're therefore, you know, this is all based the mirror of creation is working harmoniously and perfectly now, now, now. And like it's based on what you believe to be real. It's based on your faith. You know, and so um, the more that you believe the, the promises of God being true, the more you see that being reflected into your experience of life, the more like synchronicities and the more miraculous things just become normal everyday occurrences as you ask for things. Um, you know, the Bible says to um, ask for wisdom and knowledge above anything. You know, so I encourage you to, to ask for that because I feel like part of that is once you understand that everything is corresponding the inner world is being reflected. Your inner man is being reflected. You know, if you realize that your inner man is connected with Christ, with God, uh, with with Jesus, there's all it's all connected within you, and that's what's being reflected. You'll stop repulsing what you desire away, which is which is love. You know, you're pushing love away by re- by not understanding who you are. Once you realize that, you know, Jesus is, is within you, it's like the heart, you know, the new heart that you have, the new you is one that's connected like that. You are one in the body of Christ. Well, then all of a sudden, everything that you're, and if you're your inheritance in Christ is being drawn to you because you're connected now. So and the only way to push that away is through, for one, resisting it. You are putting up the resistance. You just don't want to Accept that you, you you have all these notions that you need to suffer and be tormented and live in fear and scarcity and um, you know afraid of um, you know something um, you know survival all the time you know it's just all of this mental drama that then that mental drama then becomes what you're experiencing and you're and you're pushing love away to replace it with like hell and then then you feel right in your fear. Because that's what you keep manifesting. It's like, well, I knew that would happen. I knew that worst case scenario would happen. It's like your faith in that drew that to you. It happens internally first. And it just as easily happens um, when you let go of those kinds of fears and let God cast them out of you. You know, and one of the easiest ways to start to do that is when a negative happens. Maybe you have like an errant thought or something or your body just starts hurting for some reason or some drama happens with some life circumstance or event or anything. You know, it's like instead of reacting to it and making that real, realize that the bridges of incidents don't matter. You know, what matters is that you're holding on to who you are in Christ in the right here and right now and, you know, resting in that and trusting that God will is leading you for one is directing everything that's happening. And and the more that you believe that you are already in the kingdom of God right here and right now, the more that will start being your reflection of, of what you're experiencing, your spirits more and more of it, you know, and, you know, ultimately, that's for you to test for yourself. I know that's kind of like a bold thing to say. You know, it's like, what is he fucking talking about? But once, once you um, once you do this enough times and see that it, it works, like every time, you know, it's just the way things are. You know, God doesn't lie. You know, so when God says something, all you have to do is just believe that it's real and that's how it is. And your faith then gets rewarded. You know, not to sit there and like put like uh, I don't know some some smoke in front of your face where it's just like, oh, you know, you'll never have to face fear. Part of this thing is you face fear enough times, you realize it's an illusion and it's not real. You know, it's like do the shit that it, oh, I, you know, it's like you start changing your thoughts and your mind and your fucking identity by facing fear realizing that only God is real by facing what you're afraid of because what you're afraid of is a creation of 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 nothing you know it's it's a belief in separation it's an error in thinking but you won't know that until you test it and you stand in faith instead of just reacting out of fear it's like when i see what's going on in the world i see one thing going on God's creation manifesting heaven on earth more and more so. You know, I hear, oh, yeah, you know, and I heard I heard this at the beginning of the pandemic. You know, it's like look at all the shit 
that got fucking exposed through all that. You know, and it's just like, it's the same shit, you know, with what's going on with war and, and all this stuff. It's like, it's a pendulum that you can choose to totally not get swayed by. You know, it's, most of this is psychological and propaganda driven, which then gets you to take action and join the fighting, join the drama, join the conflict. And those people that want to live by the sword, according to the Bible, will die by it. You know, and so do you, do you really want to, you know, it's like, it's like there is not a good guy in that, in, in that situation. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like, well, you got to join the bloods or the crips. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, you got to join this gang or this, you know, you got you to join the, the uh, whatever prison gang over here for this prison gang over here. And because this gang is ready to fucking um, do some, some gangster shit, then you got to be involved in it. You know, it's it's like that kind of gl- that mentality of separateness is is what's being let go of. And it's like you want to fight and kill other people. You only ever do it to yourself. You know, it's like the same people with the COVID shit. There's like one wanted to be this authoritarian thing. You know, try to control and 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 f- and fuck with other people are the ones that got fucked with the most. They're the ones jumping through the hoops. They're the ones, you know, putting the, the mask on all fucking day long, breathing their that shit in for years, injecting themselves with God knows what. You know, and for two years. You know, it's like, me personally, my life didn't change. You know, it's like I continued to do the same thing. You know, it's like, yeah, there were things that happened. Yeah, there's like some, some unforeseen troubles and difficult. But you know, for the most part, you know, it's just it's doing the same shit. You know, not getting caught in, in like these hysterical things. You know, this will be the same thing with with the next drama, but possibly the next drama. You know, it's just like, you know, if, if you trust that God's in control of it and everybody's reaping, and then here's the, the other the critical thing, piece of information, gravy. <laughs> you know, as like some in the bear community would say, um, people are reaping exactly what they sow, and it's all to help them wake up. You know, the suffering that people experience, as much as they love it in the present moment and try to justify it, will eventually get them to a point of snapping out of their sleepwalking, unconscious fucking hell that they're creating and um, get them to, to snap and to stop, you know, and to, and to look for a better way. You know, it's like, this can't be the only way. And it's not the only way. It's like God's already gave you the way. It's, it's the lack of believing that, you know, seeking that because people have been tricked into believing scientism and atheist shit is real when it's just fucking retarded. You know, it's just dumb, you know, and like, and, it, and you can prove it that it's wrong. You can prove it with their own, with their own science, with the science that exists. You can, you can show materialism is bullshit and it's all, it's all, it's all just an antiquated way of looking at things. But, you know, people need to kind of put that on for themselves. And that's not sitting there uh, venting for us, you know, whatever. It, it's an opportunity to really go, okay, that those, those negativities exist within me. You know, those judgments, you know, those feelings, we express them. Now we can choose to, we can either choose to, to stay in that state or we can go, but with all of that said and done, let's work together, you know, to, to, to be better, you know, to do, to do heavenly things with humanity. We, no one's going to do it for you. You know, it's like, you got to do it. You got to be the one that does it. And the more that you start doing it, the more you get that momentum going locally you know, everything runs locally. You know, this global mindset is, is such a, you know, it's like I was at the store earlier. My wife was there the other day, you know, and it's just like, oh, look at all this shit. The gas is going up and the shelves are, you know, at the store getting more and more empty. And it's like, I, I know a guy that has like a thousand fucking pigs, like a mile and a half that way. It's like there is so much food around us you know there's cows and pigs and farmland and he's like i have chickens you know it's like i when i start you know i have raised beds i got all this stuff you know it's like it all it's all local you know it's like 
you don't need any global bullshit. You know, it's like, well, you need some shit from China. It's like, for what? Some, what, what can't you do in, in your own little neighborhood, town, community? You know, it's, no, like I said, it, it, people do it to themselves. And so, you know, if you're, if you're going to be mesmerized by that, then, then, sorry, you know, I mean, that, that sucks for you, you know, but for those that are choosing not to, you know, it's important then to, to use what's going on to, to choose to be who you desire to be, who do you desire to be in the face of that, um, and then be that now, you know, it's like, do you choose to be a fearful, hysterical person, or do you choose to be a confident um, child of God that knows only perfect love is real and that God's in control of everything? that creation is functioning the way creation is supposed to function. You know, it's, it's like one of the, one of the things, the old mind uh, is constantly rejecting the present moment, which is rejecting reality, rejecting yourself, rejecting God, um, rejecting everything because it's just not good enough for some reason. Uh, but the more you kind of, I, I noticed this, you know, through you know, taking care of chickens, you know, it's like I got 10 chickens and two ducks. And we got two more chickens that are babies that are going to be introduced to the flock but, you know, once you kind of just see how things just actually just function, it's a lot easier to not get swayed by illusions. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, I have like, these two ducks, you know, we got this, um, it's like basically a wild chicken. I don't know where it came from. It was been an, or I've talked about it before, but, you know, it's like, it's part of the flock now for the most part. But then like yesterday, the two ducks were just attacking it violently for no reason, you know, it was just like, I, the other chickens seemed like they were getting along with it, I thought they were starting to, um, get, get along together, but then these two ducks, I mean, I think they're both male ducks, they, they got a little bit of like, 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 you know, fuck you energy to them at times, you know, and like, uh, the thing that maybe most people don't realize about like animal behavior, I mean, they would kill it, you know, it's like, a lot of times people project their own shit onto these these consciousnesses not to say that the that ducks don't have consciousness or everything has consciousness you know it's like at just different vibrations different levels and and they're and it's, but it's all still kind of reflecting the one consciousness if you have the right kind of perspective but like you know you see how these things just are doing you know and like a lot of times you know it, it's easy to then like I don't know where I'm even going, but it's like, I'm just going to kind of just, I start thinking about the ducks, and now, now I'm almost getting triggered by the fact that they're attacked, because I really like that, that stray chicken for some reason, you know, because it, it just came, you know, and it's like, like a wild bird, you know, and it's just like, I can't touch it, but you know, I can get like a couple inches from it, you know, feeding it, and it'll come up next to me if I try to go like that you can tell it just becomes hysterical and freaks out but a lot of like animal behavior is just reacting out of fear you know and and so um i don't know if the ducks are trying to destroy the chicken because they're afraid of it like getting like in their pool water or drinking their water i don't know if they're they're dealing with some scarcity fucking bullshit but you know at the same time i don't if they're going to attack the bird and around me when I see them do that, I'm going to kick the shit out of them until they quit doing that. You know, it's just like, check it. You know, put it right back in check. You know, if they're going to act like that, boom, you're going to get the same type of shit. You know, and um, a lot of times, you know, things going on in, in life are no different. You're, you're getting exact, boom, what you need and how you're acting, you know. And so, with that being said, you know, I think I'm going to bounce. And so... Yeah, I got, I got, it's like the first 70 degrees. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Um, let's see, Fahrenheit to Celsius. For international viewers here that love Celsius for some reason, um, 21.1111 degrees Celsius. So... I guess for the people that that understand Celsius, that that seems normal, <laughs> you know. So it's a really nice day. So I think I'm gonna work on my my yard a little bit. May start a fire, clean the chickens area, and 
and everything else. And in the meantime, hopefully that was like beneficial for your mental diet for today. <laughs> hopefully, you know, those tangents weren't, uh, you know, and if I'm wrong about things, you know, just talking, just the talk, you know, it's like put, get people off this pedestal, you know, it's like people are people, you know? And so, um, you know, hopefully, um, on some level that was entertaining at least. Um, and until the next now, you know, I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing, all the social networking things. I also appreciate your spiritual support and your financial support. You know, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, if you need music, you know, if you're making truth videos, stuff without budgets and you're just doing it, you know, even if you're making a small or whatever, you can go to my SoundCloud and uh, if you, you can download the track, you can use it in your videos. It won't give you a copyright issue. You know, if you do have a, like a budget or it's going to be on TV, at least fill out a, like a cue sheet for, uh, <laughs> you know, for, you know, hook a brother up there. So uh, with that being said, I think I'm about So, you know, until the next now, God bless.